I am Jimmy. And as you can see, I've got my little fake Happy Meal all set out here. Also, my little fake Happy Meal cookies. Not sliced apples, by the way. So that must mean it's time to talk about Happy Meal toys. So every Wednesday when I was a kid, my dad would take me downtown to pick up my mom from work. And every Wednesday, my dad would get me a McDonald's hamburger Happy Meal to which I would usually scrape off the onions and throw the bun aside. The things we do when we're children. I still do that, actually. Some stray thoughts I had about Happy Meals today versus Happy Meals when I was a kid. Today's sad lack of Happy Meal box art. Sometimes they put a little work into it, but most of the time it's just a blank red box like this. Ah, look at these vintage designs. They're just as fun to look at as the toy inside. A good sign of a bad Happy Meal toy when it's boys and girls choice. Just very cliched options. I wasn't into cars, but I wasn't into Barbies either. These were the weeks I'd skip the Mickey D's. Hey, what's Hardy's got on tap? Ooh, California raisins. <laughs> Here's a question. You ever get a Happy Meal toy as a kid and it wasn't the four they advertised? I mean, it's like you had the four toys memorized from the ads, you knew everything about them, knew which one you wanted worst and least, and then you open the box and you're like, what the hell is this? I mean, yes, it's a Fraggle or it's Garfield, but it's not the Fraggle or Garfield in the little car like in the commercial. Well, look here. Look at that. Ask about special toys for kids under three. Yeah. You got one of the alternate toys by mistake. See, I never had young siblings, so this wasn't something I was hip to when I was a kid. In the 2000s, Happy Meal toys got a little too overzealous for me. Collect all 101 Dalmatians. Collect all 80 of these Furbies. This simply is not feasible to me. A new toy each week for a month just seems like a good solid plan to me. I can keep up with that. And so could my dad. So with that, here's my list of the top 10 Happy Meal toys from over the years. Wow, it's a top 10 list. This is so totally YouTube. And remember, I'm an old man at this point, so my list is pretty straight up 80s and 90s. Number 10, Super Mario 3 from 1990. One of the first Nintendo restaurant tie-ins that I can remember. Look, even the McDonald's food tray inserts had awesome art on them back then. Number nine, the Berenstain Stein Steen Stein Bears from 1987. It's odd, I really have no emotional connections to this property. For me, these were just books I'd glance at while in the doctor's waiting room. But man, do I remember these toys really well. They were flocked, you remember, like Panthor was, which was great. No, I'm not going to mention the Berenstain Berenstein thing. Or did I mention it already and you're just remembering it differently? Oh my god, I'm having a stroke! Number 8, the E.T. Happy Meal. I have no memory of this, and I'm just putting it on the list just because I think it's cool that this was a thing. It came with E.T. posters. Pretty cool, but not very exciting if I was a kid. Should have held out for that Mac and Me Happy Meal. Number 7, McBoo Pails. When the container the meal came in was the prize itself. These were a huge deal for us back then, and the pail smelled like fries from then on, so that was a plus. The first of these were released in 1986, I believe, and it became a perennial favorite. Some of you may also remember Happy Meals that came in boats or spaceships, some of which had stickers and decals you could put on the outside. Pretty cool. These were all the rage at my daycare at the time. Number 6, Fraggle Rock Vegetable Cars, 1988. These became a staple in thrift stores post-release, and while it probably wasn't the first, it fell into a long line of Happy Meal premiums featuring characters in cars. The Muppet Babies, The Rescue Rangers, Mac Tonight, Back to the Future, Garfield. Collect all of these and make the most epic of Mario Kart mashups. Number five, Ty Teeny... Number five, Ty Teeny Baby Bag Bag. Number five is Ty teeny beanie babies. Hi, I'm Jimmy. Hi, Hi Jimmy. Jimmy. Hey. And I'm a recovering beanie baby addict. I'm not sure exactly how it started, but I was a pretty avid collector of all things Thai, so I went hard into these, actually driving from one McDonald's to another so I could find all of these damn things. Quite frankly, 
I blame Don West and shop at home. This deal is so good that I, I can hardly wait to read the net tomorrow to hear what people have to say about what we did. Guarantee you that. 94 different Beanie Babies. Still got my piece, Bear. Number four, Batman Returns Toys. McDonald's released these in conjunction with the second movie, and kids immediately wanted them, and then parents saw the movie. Just the pussy I've been looking for. How does that translate to this? Oh, look, the little tail twitches. So here you come into the bedroom, twitching your little tail. The promotion between McDonald's and Warner Brothers really didn't go over very well, apparently, since the movie was so dark and whatnot, and led Warners to taking Batman in a much lighter direction for the next installment. Can I persuade you to take a sandwich with you, sir? I'll get drive through Number three, McNugget Buddies. You know these, and I know you love them, so not a whole lot to say on this one. Nothing quite like dressing a toe-shaped chunk of chicken up like a witch or a cowboy. Number two, Changeables. I always refer to these as changeables, but apparently they were also called McRobots. This commercial is the tits, by the way. So I'm just going to call these transforming food. You get it. These are the definition of what could happen when the 80s and McDonald's collided. Also a constant thrift store staple throughout the late 80s and 90s. So some honorable mentions here, uh, the Super Summer Happy Meal toys. I took that boat on vacation with me, and just the sight of it takes me right back to being a kid again. The Nature Watch Happy Meal? I thought this was lame when I was a kid, but as an adult, I appreciated that they thought out of the box on this one. Get it? Number one, Real Ghostbusters Back to School Happy Meal, 1987. This was a big one for me. It was peak Ghostbusters, and I was at the perfect age for it. It was back to school, it was near Halloween, genius mashup. Also, this made any future back-to-school Ghostbusters items impossible for me to pass up. I was never able to collect all these toys when they came out, so maybe there was a slight unattainable factor in it for me. But now, I have them all! And when you have them all, why not frame them and keep them in package? So you have them, but they're never quite attainable. Does that make sense? Hope so. I was in the camp that said that McDonald's Happy Meal toys had fallen off over the last decade, but I'm happy to report that they're still very much on point. These Snoopy NASA toys are pretty amazing, actually, and they're available now. Yes.